seeing you zero suit, at least in this game one. Instead, it's going to Let's be... do this. I'm noticing that every time I feel like uh, Zero Man has started, it's been dropped from Platform Phantom. <laughs> I've, I've noticed that from like, the last the last set to, to now. I, I feel like that was a missing point yep. with Phantom. Well, I also want to say um, that Zaxxel went in and, you know, he just shielded the down B, which I've heard some Zelda names say, like, that's what they love people doing. They love it when people just, like, have to shield the Phantom because then they can do all this crazy pressure. But when that happened, instead, he just up out of shield immediately. Yeah, honestly, as that. a... I feel like that's a common... Group. Zelda's... I feel like initially Zelda's like, oh, the, we want the... Ooh, ooh, that... Ooh, that's ooh. spike. Um, honestly, shielding actually is a good way to deal with Phantom. Um, as long as you're just not susceptible to being grabbed. Because, honestly, if you, like... If you go in, it's, it's a guessing game of what uh, they're gonna do. Not just like going in and just holding shield, but like right when Phantom starts to sit in shield, and then you can get punished if you had used your, uh, um, you know, the command uh, to send Phantom instead of, instead of it going for its own timing. Oh, beautiful spacing and using the extra the hit lag from when an opponent connects on that Phantom. Like I think through his extra save. There, the Phantom is, there's so much to, that you can do with it. It really does define this character. Yes. But the issue is, is that it has um, a lot of a lot of lag to it. It can be very punishable. Ooh, that forward tilt going through um, Nairul's love. Um, ooh, that's oh. like a kick. Nairul's love um, on the top and the bottom part of it is very susceptible to getting hit. And you can get a hit out of it. Really? Yes. Because I have never not been hit by that improvement in my life. Um, yeah, like, I, if, if I'm doing a Zelda Ditto and, and it's a Zelda who, like, is spamming Nightwolf Club, I can just, ooh, nice light to kick right there from, uh, Zero Nine. But yeah, you can, like, go in and just, like, down air them out of it. Alright, that was, that's one of the things that makes Phantom so good. It just controls so much space. And then, kind of Zaxxel was forced to recover high down like that. Yeah, but into so back air right there. Uh, and this is looking better for Zero to None. But he is down and in time stuff. Yes. Zelda has crazy kill power and could definitely even this up. But it's not going to be easy, especially against Zaxel, who is able to just do so much. Ooh, nice so catch with the lightning kick there from zero to nine. Missing that um that lightning kick. Oh, I love that. For me, that obviously, that probably would have been a up a, 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 a shield, but obviously that could be very punishable if missed. Yeah, so I'm actually curious myself, and you will know, you will have a good input of, um, like, sort of just the use of Phantom in terms of what is the, like, some, does uh, Zelda have a game plan usually when they just start charging the move already, they know what they're going to do, or do you, or do they sort of have to pay attention to what their opponent is up to? Um, it depends, so if you're, if this being used in straight up neutral, it's, um, a lot of times, it depends, there's different uses. If they're close and like you do it retreating and you're just trying to throw out an option like like retreat back and send it out. So that's a kind of a close kind of thing. You don't really want to wait their charge. Um, and you gotta be careful because like, if you send it out and they shield it, then you can get punished. Oh Ooh, the lightning kick! Well, Hold on, well, I was kind of over. I was I was kind of joking when I said I'm not joking, but like overestimating when I said Zelda has kill power and technically can run this back. No, but he ran that he back. Ran the back. Clean. That was clean. Even oh. yeah, I don't. That was almost a zero to death. And Zaxxel, look at his face. He's just like, mm. oh, that's nasty. Oh, like look at his look at his eyes. The way they're shifting. It's like, what went wrong there? He's like trying to like like all these equations flying behind his head, trying to figure out how that went so badly for him in the end. You can also, as I say, use Phantom. Um, it's more of a, of a setup too. Also, like try to either you can try to see what are they going to do and how can I cover that, or how can I knock them into it. Or also, if Phantom's going to hit, knock, knock, knock them out of it. Um, and then also, it's great for uh, ledge trapping. Oh, I like that up B. Yes. Kind of aggressively to get back very, on stage. He's very, very good with the control of the up B. Um, nice use of lightning kick. Um, yeah, honestly. He's in the corner. I, I Has he been doing those aggressive options to get back this entire time? I feel like he's actually mixing this up. And someone in the chat pointed out that uh, 
Oh, Zaxxel has been jumping to get off the ledge a lot. That cost him that last game, really. So if he doesn't change Ooh, that up... Nice. That was nice, because uh, typically the ideal um, ideal DI on down throw is away from the like, on his back, so DI wakes. You get thrown behind her. Um, and it's not really true, like when you get to like uh, 30, 40, well, Bowser, it's truer. It's, it's, he's bigger. But uh, he opted to actually go for the opt DI, and uh, you missed that. Uh, it's not like That's up. Oh, big nice spot dodge right there. So is Axel. <laughs> oh, he's Ooh, dead. Nice. Oh, and he double taps him. No, that might have even saved him. But uh, I mean, I love the idea behind nice that. Nice loved off the stage right there. It's always a great option. Oh, but, oh man, Axel's comeback power is just so brutal. Look at this, carrying him back and forth here, and he actually gets Ooh. the stop. Okay, look at the hand zero to none is just sort of like turns in his seat, just like, mm, okay, all right, I see what you did there. Oh, oh, that's a man grab right there. It's forward tilt. Is he about to do it again? Is he He's about to just kind of, all right. Kick, the great punish right there. He has been doing that lightning kick a Chill lot though to pressure. get back. And I'm wondering if, uh. It's definitely punishable if, like. Oh yeah, especially. Smash the cover to get up option yeah. right there. Really impressive the way that, because we were saying how Zaxxel jumping from ledge a lot, but as soon as he stops doing it, he's actually uh, zero oh, he to just, I think he just did the desync. Um, there's oh, a, yeah, I've heard about that. It's, it's, it's really it's really hard. Uh, on it's frame, frame perfect, 67, right? after her spotting Phantom, um, you can um, do an attack or a special at the same time as sitting, and sitting at Phantom. Oh, man. The most spacing times it's, most times it's, it's an accident, honestly. Uh, I'm pretty sure he did it on accident. Because he opted for Nairul's love, and there's honestly no point. Wait, are you talking about... Well, no, he was reflecting the uh, Bowser breath. Well, that's true. Maybe maybe it did. Yeah, actually, then there was a point. Never mind, I'm not. I feel like it was more of a defensive thing to make sure he wouldn't take damage. Yeah, and, and added the label extra. Add, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like, think that was definitely on purpose. And, and it's always good. It's as a Zelda player, it's always good to have like if you know about the the uh, that frame perfect uh, option to do to, to, uh, to input the option. All right, gonna be sticking with their characters moving into game three, one one, and both of them had that really good comeback against the other. Yeah. Uh, just some nasty stuff right here. That was just now, I actually as a this should be good for like phantom setups. Um, but ooh, nice well, got in the back hit. That was uh, beautiful coverage up using the up tilt to still also catch Bowser on his roll. Oh, this could be big damage though. We've been seeing that falling neutral air just leads into horror for the opponent every time Zaxel gets it. So the bad thing about uh. Kalos to the and obviously he hasn't really gone for the still option, is the, the up the out of shield, the elevator. Um, so Kalos has the highest ceiling, so it doesn't quite work as um, much. Like, it takes um, a longer percent for it to kill, and then it gets to a point if, like, Bowser has too much damage, uh, and the two hits won't connect. So the window for it to kill is a bit smaller. That wind box helping protect Zelda. Man, the Phantom is just such a great defensive tool, and it can set up for so much. Those big blast zones helping out Ooh, too. Ooh, catching the up enough. with the fair. Pretty Ooh, impressive off the Phantom, just closing yeah. it off right away. Oh, and he tea bags. Uh, apparently, Zerdanon is a Wi-Fi player, like played Wi-Fi a lot, and then actually went to tournaments and started doing really well. Uh, and the fact he tea bagged right there, classic Wi-Fi, <laughs> Wi-Fi move. Right now, both of them just trying to play patient. Catching the fire press with dash attack right there. Covering jump <laughs> with up air right there. Ooh. Oh, great spot dodge. And that means that now oh, he had a little bit of advantage, but I didn't want to keep it. I'm liking the use of platforms for Zaxxel. He's using it it'll sort of as like a like home base. Yeah. When you're, uh, you know, when you play tag as a kid, <laughs> you're like, home base, you can't tag me while I'm here. You gotta be careful with Phantom though, with that. Ooh, ooh, the lightning kick covering the landing. That was so good! Like, think about all of this space that Zaxxel just could not go. 
<laughs> like in front was not an option, above was not an option, to the side. I don't even know what he could have done in a perfect task world. Like, I don't know if he could have come up with an option. Oh, this is big. Another one of those Koopa Claws. And to Ooh, a forward air, once again, that's something that he's been getting really consistently. That, uh... Close you at the top of the yeah, well, No, the but specifically, Zero Chanan is using this a bit of a laggy option. Yes. Really close to the stage at the perfect range for Zaxel to get that. <gasps> first time he's parried, uh, like, or at least the first time I've noticed a parry from uh, Zaxel on those forward and back air. But ooh, he can't forward it. Beautiful recovery. Spot a bit on the cover some options. Nice shield pressure right there. Ooh. And right the kick out of shield will do the trick right there. Zero done with a with a one game lead, so they at two one, and we are seeing, especially against Bowser, the out of shield options for Zelda are so good. You know, if he gets a little bit too close, she can up the out of shield. We haven't really seen it, but that's yes. always an option. It's a very it's a very unsafe. Uh, if, if 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 it whips, you have to be good about like, like Listen, if you know lightning kick. I've gonna... played Zelda in Smash Four. I understand the risk involved in, in the elevator. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure. Back then it was worse, you couldn't drift. Oh, God. Yeah, After yeah, you yeah. Used I'm just saying it for the uh, audience. Oh, oh wait. <laughs> you think the audience <laughs> matters? What? The audience always matters. No way. They don't. Okay. okay. Well. All right, well, so I'm curious. So, Zaxel did play DK a lot, especially at the game's inception. He eventually gravitated away from the character uh, towards Bowser. But this Donkey Kong of his is so really good, and I'm wondering sort of the thought process behind this. One dangerous part of this, uh, Donkey Kong's recovery is really exploitable right above him, and Zelda has one of the best spikes in the game. Yeah. It lasts so long. At least the sour spot lasts long, which sometimes is enough for against DK. And then the sweet spot is just brutal when it lands. I'm wondering though if like using even go through well. I know why he switched to DK. Uh, he was getting punished out of shield so much. Yeah. So now he wants to have a grab. Yeah. DK is an actual grappler, so it's not going to be easy for uh, like he's not going to do to none. Is not going to get those free nice, sort of uh, just shielding and then back air for air out of shield. The, uh, the multi grab kind of delayed that. Uh, is that it? So oh. it Blast zone helping okay, out. Uh, yeah. Missing that uh, lightning kick right there, and the the throw to the stage. You know, well, I, so DK as a character has fallen out of favor a little bit. Um, there used to be a lot of DK players, but a lot of them have moved on. Zaxxel actually being one of them. Uh, and people really couldn't tech the uh, like the cargo throw into the stage. People had trouble teching that back when there were DKs all over the place. Oh, he just does it! And done it! That DI is nice. But, uh, wow, yeah. I am really liking this Donkey Kong counter pick so far. Oh, he goes all the way out there. He see, this is the like the real mix up is that then if you're trying to prepare for the tech onto stage, then you're not button mashing. Then you're not button mashing, yeah. and you can go all the way out there. That's oh, the kick right there. Oh, oh for a second I thought the Phantom saved him, but no, no. Phantom kills on its yeah, own yeah. right. You have to be super close to the Phantom for the wind box not to knock you into it. Getting that, that punch fully charged up just throws it out. I'm wondering why. Maybe he's trying to maybe he's trying to use the charge itself to well, pretty pressure sure. Zero Turn into approaching. Yeah, and also but I'm pretty sure it'll it'll knock Zelda out of uh like space straight out of her neutral B. Oh, and it is a safe on shield. So I think that it's perfectly. Nice yeah, cover the uh fan is always great for covering up um, oh, yeah. oh, yeah. text and stuff. Nice forward smash. It's, this is looking like game one again. Remember, there was this huge lead for Zaxel, and then it just disappeared. That's still not enough. The blast zones on the top are just too big. Oh, wow. That was such a good call out. Not only read the, ro the roll in, but read the panic option. Whether that was going to be like a Nehru's love or just the so jab. Just, just clap Yeah, that was nice. Commentators. <laughs> Wait, when do when do we commentators curse it? I don't think. So, I'm really I am hoping that Zero Chunun knows 
not to counter pick a DK to any stage that he can get his uh, Ding Dong combo on. Because Pokemon Stadium 2, I believe Smashville can work on. I did not see what stage he picked. We probably went to Battlefield. No, we were just on Battlefield. Oh no. Okay, so Zaxxel is, I mean, he main DK back in Smash 4. And he is just really good at getting like the exact percent range where the cargo throw to up air is going to connect for a kill. And if he's not prepared for this, that could seriously damage him. Ooh, Ooh. Not even behind. That move is huge, dude. Uh, all right, goes nice for that. Ah, yeah, I would have actually maybe that's the sort of situation that <laughs> you should that. just <laughs> immediately like tech and then go that's for so a down air. Um, it's really, that's very good. I've noticed, I've noticed this. In a lot of his other choices are doing this. Just go for classic up tilt, up tilt. He goes, he goes for the up tilt, and then he reverses to the other side for the next up tilt. Yeah. Uh, I don't think any mashing could have saved him right there. That dude, it's just so hard to match out of that DK, the cargo throw before it just ends the fight. Into um, oh, that that's actually something I've been working on. Is that option? Um, because sometimes, like obviously, you ideally would go for the. Uh, Okay, uh, option, he might be getting... I think if he gets grabbed at this point, he dies. <laughs> yes, Axel knows it. He's looking for it. Oh! Ooh! That'll Ooh. do it. This could be big! Tech, oh! Tech, beautiful yeah. tech. Beautiful. Um, I'm going to call it a tactical SD, so that then he can come back, get the grab, and then take the stock. The DK Classic. Oh man, oh! Yeah, I was saying how that downer might be a problem, and this is definitely the case. <gasps> he wasn't mashing! Right. This could be big! Goes for a back air! That's some nice damage, but wasn't actually enough to close out the stock. Ooh, jump around over for the uh, back air. Yeah. Zach's just starting to mix up how he deals with Phantom from a distance. Just really working out Ooh, for him, that should be it, yeah. yeah. Axel looking really good right now. I mean, <laughs> seems he would have known come back from worse than this, but nonetheless, look at the way he's just getting this damage. That might be it. I was saying how. Yeah, that's it. He didn't. Uh, this. Don't counterpick Donkey Kong. To be a Don't do it. Oof.